for machine learning and today we are going to discuss about a very popular topic called determinant we will see how determinant is calculated and more more importantly we will see why it is important to find and calculate the determinant of a matrix okay so let's quickly consider one vector say v and say it has two elements v1 and v2 and for the time being i'm consider only two dimensional uh, vector okay so this can be written as v1 times 1 0 plus v2 times 0 1 correct because if I add them back in vectors, I will get back to v1 and v2, right. So, I am just rewriting it this way. So, this means that um, I can represent this vector in something like this if I have to represent it in x and y axis. So, in my x axis basically say this is 1 0, right and this is my 0 1 and this vector is nothing but the simple multiply if I multiply this axis by v 1 then I get to the point this one and if I multiply this axis by v 2 then I get to the uh, point v 2. So, that means I can represent my vector this way and if I multiply this vector with a matrix say uh, the matrix is 2 by 2 right. So, I can multiply my vector with it. So, my vector is right now say 2 by 1. So, because the inner level matches. So, what I will get in return is a 2 by 1 matrix right. So, what basically it will come out is a times v 1 1 0 plus v 2 times 0 1. Now, this can be rearranged and put it this way v 1 times a of 1 0 plus v 2 times a of 0 1 right this can be represented this way this means that this representation initially with v 1 and v 2 now I have a multiplication factor a so that means this a is going to transform this space here right. So, let us look into uh, in more detail ok. So, it has also been observed that depending on the values of uh, the individual elements in A right this space here this space here right it can undergo three specific things it can undergo something called as stretching ok. It can go something undergoes something as called skewing and three it can go something as rotation ok in this sequence. So, that means the factor that we are multiplying our uh, vector with is very important to know what values its element are made of ok. And this factor this multiplication factor is called as determinant of the, of the uh, matrix ok. Ok, so if I quickly um, uh, take these values here say v is, is equal to say 1 and 1 and a is nothing but say uh, 1 2 2 and 1. So, a times v will be I can write my v here a times for v 1 1. So, it is 1 times 1 plus 2 times 1. So, it is 2 2 times 1 plus 1 times 1. So, basically it becomes 3 by 3 ok. So, if I quickly draw it. So, basically my initially my vector was 1 time 1. So, say if this is 1 and which is 1 0 and say this is 0 1 then in that case 1 by 1 comes over here 
a point here right okay now what happened was after the a times v it became 3 over 3 so basically it got stretched by 3 times so it became something like this so it is 3 here and 3 here so it be the same vector here 1 comma 1 now became basically 3 comma 3 right all right so what it means is this factor this multiplication factor which we are calling as a determinant has influence over my existing vector right okay let's quickly change this value of a to something else so a dot b is, is equal to say um, say 1 I will just keep it say 2 0 0 and 2 times so the same vector 1 and 1 so it becomes 2 and 2 so similar result okay now now comes very interesting thing and before we take the third example i'll just put the values first so i have only 2 here and remaining all are 0 and my vector still 1 1 in this example and also in this example you see my vector or you can say the area that it is uh, covering is basically getting stretched or scaled up right but in this case uh, what happens is even if it is getting scaled i can still manipulate it somehow and get back to this original uh, size or the space it is covering right in however in this case it is giving me uh, 2 into 1 which is 2 and the second one is 0 that means my final outcome looks something like this 2 comma 0 so basically a vector in two dimensional space got translated into a single straight line and there is no way i can recover from this single straight line to a something like this i cannot do it i cannot i can of course take it scale down this vector here and still go back to this point or this shape but from a straight line i can just from a straight line i have lost my information to go back to my original shape so that is why this factor a is very important to calculate in machine learning and in our next video we will see why this uh, is calculated and what is and how it is calculated uh, uh, the determinant of this matrix are calculated in uh, machine learning it is a very common activity to multiply two matrices or one matrices with a vector etc and before I explained to you what the determinant is and how to calculate determinant it, I wanted to give you this pictorial diagram of the effect of multiplying one matrix with a vector so that it becomes obvious when we calculate the determinant and see find that the determinant gives us a clue that whether uh, you know if we multiply this matrix with a vector or another matrix are we going to deform the shape of the original uh, vectors right if we deform it uh, it will become very challenging for us to get back to the original shape and i will also explain why do we need to get back to the original shape and this factor will help us um, you know uh, eventually it will help us solve many problems in linear regression and logistic regression and that is why it is very important for me to explain to you this uh, uh, pictorially first and in our next video we are going to calculate the determinant and see that you know instead of going through all these diagrams and stuff the determinant will quickly give us answer that whether it is going to completely deform my uh, vector or is it going to just scale uh, stretch uh, skew and rotate only uh, from which we can of course go back to the original one but if it is completely deformed we will not be able to do so okay i hope you have learned something new today so till then have a great day and keep practicing and please subscribe to our channel